वेलकम टू द केमिस्ट्री लाइव चैनल टुडे वी आर डिस्कस द सिंथेसिस ऑफ बेंजमिडाजोल द सिंथेसिस इज वेरी यूनिक फॉर दैट बेंजमिडाजोल पर्टिकुलर व्हाई बिकॉज इट इज अ फ्यूजन ऑफ टू टाइप ऑफ रिंग द वन इज बेंजीन रिंग एंड अनदर इज इमिडाजोल रिंग इट इज अ फ्यूजन ऑफ दिस टू टाइप ऑफ रिंग एंड इफ यू वॉन्ट टू सिंथेसाइज वी हैव अ फ्यूज दिस टू रिंग टूगेदर एंड वी गेट बेंजमिडाजोल माइटी so what is the background of benzimidazole the background we can see that is a heterocyclic aromatic compound basically it's prepared using the fusion of benzene and imidazole ring and it is colorless solid you what is the use of the benzimidazole it act as a anti tumor anti fungal anti parasitic as well as analgesic anti viral and anti histamine drug it's also used in a cardiovascular disease neurological disease endocrinological as well as ophthalmology disease so it's also used in a dye industries to prepare such dyes so we can say benzimidazole has a multi purpose use you can use in a medicinal as well as dye industries so medicine industry we have to prepare a medicine in dye industry we have to prepare dyes so we can use the both so now we will switch to the our main section of that synthesis procedure that is principle of the benzimidazole so how we can prepare so the when carbon nitrogen bonds a benzimidazole disconnect orthophenylene diamine as well as formic acid so the orthophenylene diamine how we get here the disconnection of this bond and this bond we will get orthophenylene diamine and the formic acid so therefore the synthesis of benzimidazole is affected by the simple heating of orthophenylene diamine and the formic acid together so what is the requirement here we want we want orthophenylene diamine formic acid and the sodium hydroxide 10% so we can prepare the 10% of sodium hydroxide and we will get everything now we will take a look about the mole ratio first so what is the mole ratio mole ratio is nothing but when you divide when you get a mole and the fraction of mole is called a mole ratio so here the given weight is 27 g molecular weight 108 g then we will get the moles is 0.25 g it is one mole and the given weight is 17.5 g divided by its molecular weight 16.06 g we get 0.34 mole it's 0.7 3.5 mole respect to that orthophenylene diamine. So from that we will get the mole of the taken amount. So here I will want to mark that whole box. So it is very easy and understandable for us. So that is, if you want to go to the find out the mole of orthophenylene diamine, if you have 5 gram, then weight divided by molecular weight. If we did it, we get the moles is about 0.046. so here i want to mention the 0.046 here we want h it means the way of formic acid or ml of formic acid we can get with the help of calculation of f and g so if we multiply f and g we get h but first of all we will find out the f so what is f f is equal to nothing but c into e c is a 0.046 and e is the mole ratio we will derive from the previous table so 0.75 so on the basis of that we get value of f which is 0.034 when we multiply this is the value of mole of the formic acid with the molecular weight of formic acid we will have the weight of formic acid in gram which is 2.04 gram and if we divide with the density is 0.220 we will get in ml is 1.67 ml so what is the ml here we found 1.67 ml of formic acid so we will switch to the another interesting section of that our synthesis is the reaction scheme so how reaction scheme is useful so see here it is very unique because orthophenylene diamine have a, has a two amine group in a phenyl ring here inductive effect is performed and then this attack over here the inductivity effect return back we will remove this one again this effect and we will get this intermediate this intermediate we will get after the first step and the second step when this attack over here we will get our benzimidazole compound after removal of water molecule so to get better understand that reaction scheme we have to take a look of the mechanism which how it's proceed so in the mechanism as is i discuss in reaction there is a lone pair of nitrogen attack over the carbon because here it is first possess a inductive effect so first step is this one to possess the inductive effect second step is to this attack that nit lone pair of nitrogen to the carbon atom again is inductive effect revert back and removal of oh minus here we get the removal of oh minus so here it has positive charge 
So due to the positive charge, that bond of that NH it is shifted towards the nitrogen atom, and the hydrogen is removed from here. So that we'll get NH here, and whole the stuff is raised back here. So again here the perform the inductive effect, and the lone pair of electron is attacked over here. Again we will get this kind of same positive nitrogen ion. And the nitrogen ion get the electron from the bond or get the bond pair and remove the hydrogen and we will get this kind of compound here. Here we can see here the negative charge N ion is here OH minus so that that H plus which is removed from here is attached with that oxygen and we will get OH. So again that lone pair of electron just pass to the bond and we will remove the OH minus so we get OH minus removal and finally we get our imidazole moiety so benzimidazole is prepared so that's how benzimidazole is prepared we will switch to the procedure procedure is so simple first we will take round bottom flask in this round bottom flask we will put a stirrer we add in that round bottom flask 27 gram of orthophenylene diamine compound 17.5 gram of or 16 ml formic acid heat that round bottom flask at 100 degree temperature for 2 hours after the after the completion of 2 hours cool it and add 10 percent NaOH solution to that to the round bottom flask Mix well, stir well the solution. When you stir well the mixture, the, the litmus paper becomes alkaline. Filter of the crude, wash with ice cold water and at the end wash with 25 ml of cold water. In the crystallization process, boil the water 400 ml, add 2 gram of carbon or animal char charcoal then the crude compound digest it for 15 minutes then filter it put it in 10 degree centigrade temperature so we will get benzimidazole crystal immediately wash with 25 ml cold water and dry it 100 degree temperature we will get 25 gram compound so next the calculation the calculation we have molecular formula of starting and the product molecular weight of starting and the product so we can say if we have 108 gram per mole orthophenyl diamine we will get 118.14 gram per mole benzimidazole so what about 5 gram so we did the calculation I will get result B the practical yield is 3.9 gram so to find out percentage yield we have to do 3.9 divided by v into 100 so we will get percentage yield and the next section is characterization section which is deal with the characterization of ir and mrn mass so benzimidazole that peak if we smoothening it more it will be like complete parabolic shape so it is 3 3000 we can say or 2700 centimeter inverse here also one peak is possible that is about 1750 centimeter inverse we have to identify from that one the peak which is belonging from for nh and the peak which is belonging for n double bond c stretching and vibration frequencies so next we will switch to that mass spectrum so the molecular weight of benzimidazole is about 118 so here we get the peak 118 so it is m plus peak and the another peak here we get is 119 so it is m plus 1 peak so from that we can conclude that yes our compound is prepared from the mass spectrum and the last but not least it is very important in the case of the either the compound synthesis or not so let's see first first we'll get the peak at 8.8 .8 is 1H for 1H and singlet due to the neighboring effect of that hydrogen 
only so we have only singlet because there is not effect on that neighbor so here the one edge of that peak we will get another we'll get at 7.17 here doublet because of that hydrogen is take the environment is this hydrogen and another is that it will be just try to move and we get doublet if we not consider it too much distance so we will cancel it out for the here both for the same for the here we will say we will get also doublet and for the particular nh here we will get only singlet with a low intensity at 5 ppm so that is confirm that we have 1 2 3 4 5 6 hydrogen atom and for the six proton that six proton are easily shown in a 1h nmr and that is confirm that our compound is synthesized result table so in result table you have to write name till the percentage yield what we get from the practical analysis the ir mass and nmr technique shows us the presence of nh and c double bond n or n double bond c group the percentage yield we will get here you have to write down here that is some references which i use the information and thank you for watching please subscribe the channel and press the bell icon to get more notification soon